Hey everybody, welcome to Now You're Cooking with Natural Gas. I'm Jenna and this is Chef David here and we are here at the Northwest Natural Appliance Center in Southeast Portland and today we're cooking up a little chicken, a special recipe. We are, we are. Yeah. This is a uh, wine braised chicken mm -hmm. with mushrooms. It's a recipe that my mom used to make all the time for her company. She'd never share the recipe because people really liked it and she always wanted to have a go-to recipe. Right, right. So, and the other thing that was good about it, it was a very simple recipe and really all we're going to do first off, we're just going to brown the chicken which uh, you want to make sure you get it nice and hot. Yeah, yeah, stand back, stand back. A stand back. <laughs> you want to make sure your chicken's really nice and dry. If it's not dry, it's not going to brown properly. You're going to brown it for about three to four minutes. We'll flip it over, we'll get the other side, we'll do it in batches, and we'll take it all out and move on from there. Great. All right, we finished browning the chicken, so we're going to take it out. We're going to get rid of a little bit of the oil, and then we're going to start sweating down the vegetables. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of butter to the pan. We didn't want all the chicken fat in there. And then next, as soon as that melts, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the mushrooms. We're doing this over medium heat, not quite as high as we were browning the chicken. And we're going to get some of the moisture out of these mushrooms, help them cook down a little bit. Okay, so you took the chicken out and then you reduced the oil and you added the mushrooms. I think that's interesting because I see shallots and, and garlic, right? Right, and right. And you added the mushrooms first. I, I would did. have done it the other way. You, you know, you probably could, but there's a lot of moisture in them and I want to get the moisture out first. Um, otherwise, when I add the moisture, it's just going to add that moisture back to the onions and the shallots um, and the garlic. Okay. So I like to do it in that order. And it helps, you know, it, they browned up really nice as you can tell. Yeah, beautiful. So, so now we're just going to let these sweat down just a little bit. And then we're going to add a little bit of wine, mm -hmm. uh, just to glaze a little bit. Add our chicken back, add the rest of the wine, and then finish cooking. Okay, great. Can't wait. Okay, everything's sweat pretty nice down there. The uh, vegetables look pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deglaze with a little wine. And Jenna, if there's one thing I want you to know is that when you cook, uh -huh. you always have to taste all the ingredients. So you need to tell me oh. if that's going to be okay. Mm. I think it's, uh, I think it's passable. It's going to work. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Thank you for letting me join in. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so if you just want to give that a little stir, just kind of deglaze it just a little bit there. We can put the chicken back in and let's put it face down and we're going to cook it about halfway through and then we're going to turn it up. That'll help give it an even cooking. Is that face down? Yeah. Okay. Either way, we're just going to rotate it halfway okay. through. And then after that, we're going to add a cup of wine and we're going to bring that up to a nice uh, simmer, and then we're going to cook that for probably around 30 to 35 minutes. So we'll get all, don't forget all the good juice that we had in the pan. Okay. So we just want about a cup of wine, and we want to bring it up anywhere from about a third to a halfway up on the chicken. So it doesn't have to cover the chicken. It doesn't have to cover okay. the chicken. In fact, if you use too much, you're actually going to be boiling it as opposed to braising it. You oh, really okay. don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. So that's up to the simmer there. So I'm going to give a try on this burner here. You were telling me about this one, that this is really yeah. good for simmering? Yeah, so this is a decor range, and the cool thing is that it's a continuous platform. And so you can just slide, slide it on things over. easily. I like That's that. Right. And then the burner is actually a dual flame, and so that would definitely help in a simmering process, it seems. Oh, yeah, you can definitely control that really nice. Yeah. Okay, well, we got that down, so we're just going to cover that up, and we'll check in about 15 minutes. All right, getting hungry. All yeah, right, it's been about 15, 17 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of parsley, and then we're just going to turn the chicken over, and we're going to let it go for about another 15 minutes, and then it should be done. All right, that chicken is done. Yep. I'm going to get that plated. All that nice broth in there. All right. All right, well this looks fantastic. Yep, let me just do a little finishing touch okay. here. A little bit of the mushroom and a little bit of the broth. That's kind of the best part here. And you can use any kind of mushroom, right? You can. Okay. Any type of fresh mushroom would be good. And then for myself, I do the same thing on the bread, and this is what I like. That doesn't get any better. And that's what I'm eating. Lovely. Okay, <laughs> Chef David, thank you so much. And thank you for being with us on Now You're Cooking with Natural Gas. We'll see you next time. For more information on any of the appliances you've seen in this episode or recipes, go to nwnatural.com.